name is Emily Flinders and I'm the lead product marketing manager for lending at Finicity, a MasterCard company. And I'm excited to be here with you today to talk about our mortgage verification service, or MVS product, that enables one-stop verification of assets, income, and employment. Let me start by saying it pays to build a digital first experience. Consumers today are accustomed to simple digital interactions and lenders who deliver these experiences are winning. These lenders capitalize on new programs like Fannie Mae's positive rent payment history and Freddie Mac's direct deposit income and rent assessment programs, providing faster and more accurate data and extending homeownership to more borrowers. If you're a lender right now, you're probably thinking, Emily, this sounds really great, but I'm struggling just to keep my pipeline full. I'm here to tell you that now might be the perfect time to adopt new technology. Technology enables scale. Digital first lenders are able to navigate the highs and the lows of market conditions with less impact on their business operations. If we take a look back to five years ago, four of the top 10 lenders of 2017 have been displaced. The time to digitize your offerings is now. Verification is a key touch point in the origination process where streamlining can yield significant results. Our mortgage verification service product provides a one-stop verification experience that avoids the disjointed process of going to multiple vendors to get the verifications that you need. We offer high quality data to deliver asset income and employment verification with the speed, accuracy, and security that you and your customers deserve. So let's talk about how this works. MBS is available via direct API connection through our portal or through easy integration with our ecosystem pop providers like Simple Nexus and ICE Mortgage Technology. I'm gonna walk you through a generic borrower workflow here as an example, using our demo lender, Acme Lending. To highlight how this experience might look for a consumer using our Connect app. And I'm gonna do it all from my phone. We offer a mobile first experience. Consumers can do this process anytime anywhere in just a few minutes. Roughly 70% of our users do come through on a mobile device, and we also offer a desktop version. So, the borrower opens the Connect app either via email or an in-band integration with your point of sale, and is taken to this initial screen to begin the process. If you use MBS today, you'll notice something really exciting. Connect has been rebranded to reflect MasterCard open banking, and each screen now includes the text secured by MasterCard. We've rebranded the experience to emphasize the scalability and trust MasterCard name brings to our products and services. Recent research found consumers are 59% more likely to continue sharing banking information if powered by MasterCard. As a lender, you have the ability to customize the look and feel of Connect to align with your brand. You can also present these screens in this process wherever it makes sense in your application flow. So we're gonna get started. The borrower is going to search for their bank. After they uh, click through that initial screen, there's more information given about the process and what they're agreeing to do and how they're sharing their data. They will then enter their credentials for said bank and then select the accounts they would like to permission. With this process, the borrower can permission multiple accounts from multiple financial institutions. We click next and that's all that's needed to gather the information to verify assets. We're all familiar with this process. Most of us have been doing it for a minute um, but when we talk about income and employment verification, that's where we've added multiple data sources to increase and get optimal success rates. So let's see what that looks like. So for payroll, if we click to employment records, the borrower is going to validate and then populate the last four of their social security number. We then search our payroll connections and return employers found for the borrower to review and select. Similar to account selection, the borrower can select how many employers they want to include. 
Additionally, if they're looking for more information about said employer, they can click through and see that additional detail. Once they're satisfied, they click the employers to include and click next. We then complete the data aggregation and the payroll report is done. With this process, as I mentioned, our goal is to create the highest success rates possible. We have another feature of MVS where we collect and digitize the borrower's most recent pay stub and match it up with the transaction history to more confidently find the direct deposit information and match it to the employer. Some lenders using our pay stub data are increasing their income verification success rates by 20 to 30%. For the pay stub upload, it's super simple. The borrower can either take a picture on their phone or upload a save file. We're gonna upload a save file. Click into our photos. Click next. And just like that, the borrower has completed the information they need to submit. After this process is complete, we'll see a few different reports from the experience that we just walked through. What I'd like to call out on the reports, we'll use the transaction report here as an example. Um, our reports, the data will transfer directly to our platform to your loan origination system or point of sale platform. And it's available in JSON, XML, or PDF format. In all these cases, we leverage a portfolio ID at the top right. This is used to tie all the reports together into a single reference ID that's accessed directly from our open banking platform to by Freddie, May, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae through their automated underwriting systems, simplifying this process for you as a lender. When we built MBS, we, we're not just building it to digitize a process, we're really wanting it to work within AUS. We're really excited about the results that we're seeing from lenders using MVS today. More and more consumers are expecting a digital experience and simplifying the verification process makes the borrower's application smoother and faster, leading to more referrals and more business. With MVS, lenders can position themselves not just to thrive in this digital world, but to lead the way. If you want more information, come some, find someone in our yellow shoes will help you stand out. Thank you. <laughs> all right, if you're all wearing yellow shoes, like hats off to you, that's pretty amazing. I love, I love the concept. I also like secured by MasterCard, um, making app complete or connecting to uh, income assets, employment 59% more likely. I think that's very, very powerful. Um, I would offer less upfront briefing, more eyes on product. I wanted to see, ideally, if you're mentioning Simple Nexus and, and um, ICE integrations, if we could show that. Likewise, showing the matching of direct deposit to employer would have been awesome too. Okay. Um, but, but overall, the UX is great, but is, is that the UX that the underwriters and processors are using? Um, on UX, I love that you presented off your mobile, by the way. I thought that was cool. I just couldn't. I couldn't see, I'm getting old. Like I, I, I'm envisioning this on my screen and I'm imagining like somebody that's, that's my age if they're gonna be able to see some of that um, information that we've, we've got here. Um, however, I love that you did actually do a little bit of evangelizing for the, the digital mortgage, so to speak. Um, I would love to see you put a few more metrics with it again, like when you're talking about, you know, you mentioned that the lenders who are using MVS are very excited because they're seeing great results. Like what results? Like tell some real stories, real examples, give some real ROI on that but great job. I'm not buying the 59% more likely statistic because I don't think Plaid, which could have been a Visa company, I guess, has any problems getting user um, adoption for that. Um, I just think there's a lot of room for potential user confusion in this process. Um, we just kind of skipped over it at one point after inputting a lot of information. At one point, there was a button that said MVS full, and then when you came back to it, there was a whole bunch of other things, and I was confused as to what those other things were. And I think a lot of consumers you know, go into these processes wanting to learn first, what information are you going to be asking for? And I think this process just sort of assumes that you know, they already have a pay stub that's sitting out there, they can just link the JPEG to. So I would have liked to have seen a little more kind of user guidance through that, that process. Thank you.